time to start solving inequalities. We're going to start with uh, lesson seven, six, two from your textbook. And what you're going to find is that solving inequalities is just like solving equations. However, there's one extra skill that we add to our solving abilities. So on this screen right now, you see four different inequalities. This is four times n is greater than 12. X divided by four is less than or equal to five. Y plus six is greater than or equal to 10. And A minus five is less than three. Well, with the inequalities, when we solve these, I will solve these just like an equation. If I had an equal sign in between here, I would divide by four. We do the same in the inequality. I would divide by four and divide by four. And then I would say N is greater than, I keep the greater than sign, 12 divided by four is three. If I have this one, with a fraction in it, we're still going to do the same thing we've always done with the fractions. We're going to multiply both sides of the equation by that denominator to remove the fraction. So on the left side, fours cancel out, leaving x. If it's less than or equal to, 5 times 4 is 20. Again, this equation has been solved just like, a, or I'm sorry, this inequality has been solved like an equation. If there's an addition situation to look at. Well, I can't add these two numbers, but I can still subtract, so I minus 6 from both sides. And I say y is greater than or equal to 10 minus 6 being 4. Same thing as what we did with the equations. And then this last inequality is one that shows subtractions. So then a, I can't subtract a minus 5, but I can add 5 to both sides. So I can get a by itself. And I have a is less than 3 plus 5 is 8. Same method. And even if I had an inequality that looks like this, 3x minus 6 is less than 12, I would still solve this like it would an equation. I would add 6 to both sides. And I'd say 3x is less than 12 plus 6 is 18. And I would divide by 3. And x is less than, oops, get your less than sign in there. There we go, less than 6. Please note that I have worked with all positive numbers here. But there is something with negative numbers with inequalities that we have to learn. This is the additional skill. So let me show you something here. 10 is less than 15. I'm going to take both of these numbers, and I'm going to divide by negative 5. So if I divide both of these numbers by negative 5, let's take a look at the answers. 10 divided by negative 5 it happens to be negative 2. 15 divided by negative 5 happens to be negative 3. Well, in the start of the inequality, I had 10 is less than 15. Looking at my answers, I have negative 2 and I have negative 3. Negative 2 is greater than negative 3. So what happened to the inequality symbol? It turned, it flipped. I have taken and divided by an opposite, the opposite of 5. I've divided by a negative. So that also means since I have divided by a negative, the sign was positive at the start of my problem. The sign changed to negative 2. The same thing happens with the inequality symbol. If I divide by a negative number, I need the opposite sign. So now I then have negative 2 is greater than negative 3. The next thing I want to show you is what happens when we multiply by a negative number. So let's multiply both of these numbers by negative 2. We'll take 10 times negative 2, and we'll take 15 times negative 2. So to check my answers on those, 10 times negative 2, that's negative 20. And 15 times negative 2, that answer is negative 30. Again, if I look at this, well, negative 20, let's think in terms of temperature since we live in Minnesota. Well, negative 20 is warmer than 30, so negative 20 is greater than negative 30. So notice again, because I multiplied by a negative number, my sign switched. So with inequalities, if I am multiplying or dividing by a negative number, my inequality sign also switches. Okay, so what happens when the number I have at the start is negative? So let's say I take negative 6, and I take that times 2. Okay, so I do have a negative number in what I'm multiplying by. So let's look at the answers. Negative 6 times 2, that's negative 12. Negative 8 times 2, that's negative 16. So which one's bigger, negative 12 or negative 16? Negative 12 is bigger. 
nothing. Again, in terms of temperature, it's warmer than negative 16. So negative 12 is greater. Uh -huh, so wait a minute. My signed in switch on this one. I have negative numbers up there. The key is this. The number I multiplied by was positive 2. So I multiplied by a positive number. Sign stays the same. Notice even in my answers, I started with a negative number. My answer has a negative number. And that sign stayed the same. Well, my inequality will also stay the same. Let's take a look at this one. I have negative 2, and that's less than 4. What if I divide both of these by uh, 2? Divide both by 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now, the negative is always smaller than a positive, isn't it? So I'd put the less sign back in again on this one. So again, well, dividing by a positive number, look, my sign stays the same, including my inequality sign. If I had a positive at the start, divided by a positive, positive at the end. So now, what is the difference? Well, when you work with inequalities, you have to watch out for the number by the variable, because that's one you're going to be doing the multiplying or dividing by at the very end. If that number happens to be negative, like this one, my sign switches. If I end up multiplying, or dividing by a positive number, sign will just stay the same. Okay, so let's take a look at this a little bit further. Here is a page from your book. It's actually from page 305. So at this point, look at, watch at the video, but you will need the textbook when you do your assignment. So let's take a look here. Let's look at problem one. This is problem one from page 305 in your Algebra 1 textbook. This says t divided by 9 is less than negative 12. If I'm doing this problem, notice over here I have in the directions, we're going to write yes if you would switch the inequality sign while solving the problem, or write no if you would not switch the inequality sign while solving the problem. So here's what you do. I'm going to look at this problem. Here's my variable t. The number underneath it is positive 9. That's a positive number. So I will not switch that sign. I would say no, I will not be switching the inequality sign when I do my work on this problem. Look at number 2. I have 30 is greater than 1 half n. 1 half is positive. So no, I do not switch the sign on this one while I'm doing my work. Let's look at number 3. Ah, negative 3 fourths times r. I had the number next to the r is negative. So on this one, I would say yes, I have to switch the sign while I'm doing my work. And the last one that I'll do here with you is c divided by negative 8 is greater than or equal to 7? Yes. The number with the variable is a ne has a negative, so I will end up having to switch that inequality symbol when I do my work. So what I want you to do for the rest of this assignment, and I have the problems right here for you, 8 through 11, 13 to 20, and 25 to 32, but all you're going to write down is no or yes. So look at each problem. Look at that problem. Look at the number next to the variable. If it's positive, you're going to write down, no, I don't switch that sign, but if it's negative, Yes, I'm going to have to switch the inequality sign. So you're just writing down yes or no. When you get done, get the answer key from me, and check your answers, and then you'll turn in the assignment. Okay, give that a, give that a shot. Just be sure to check your answers when you get done, and then we'll move on.